What's going on, guys? And welcome to to the moon. Now, this is a series that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and I'm super excited for it. And I'm ready to cry, and I'm ready to enjoy it uh, with all of you. Um, my editor is gonna be editing this video. Hopefully, he can get everything together. Also, I'll I'll do something else with it. Anyway, to the moon. I think it's about time that we dive into this fantastic game. Oh, I'm so excited for this game, guys. It's so good. Time for some opening credits. Oh, this game is so beautiful. It's so good. I have not watched any gameplay since, like, three years ago when it, like, first came out. So I am a little iffy on the story and the plot of this game and how to even do lots of the stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm super excited for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so here we go. Oh. She's playing the piano. I'm already like, oh, God. It's already starting. The waterworks are starting, guys. No, I'm just kidding. My, my eye was itchy. A rock in my eye. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> We seem to have crashed our car. And there's a squirrel. He is very much dead. Where were you looking, Nail? Well, excuse me for heroically, uh, heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. You ran over it anyways. <laughs> oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry. It's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Hmm. We'll just say it was, I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? You know, Dr. Watts, I wonder that too sometimes. Why does the world need to be so complicated? I wonder. Let's grab the equipment of the car and move already. Retrieved equipment. Let's go on the sucker. Oh, just waited to see. Which one to see if you'd remember? I like how like the doors and everything still work. It's kind of hilarious. All right, what do we got? Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. <laughs> Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Alright, on three. One, two, three! Huh. Interesting. Alright, I don't even... What was that? Not a boulder, that's for sure. Interesting. Uh, we need to get going for now. Well, right. Let's knock on this door. Who is it? Ma, they're here. Not a place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Eh. You'd like to think you could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them. You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably going to be another all-nighter, you know. I know. Oh boy, those all-nighters. Super intense, man. Go inside. Oh, don't forget the equipment, you idiot. Yeah, stupid. I don't get paid enough for this. You probably don't. But then again, you probably make like 15 bucks an hour. 
or 15 bucks. I don't know. Don't. Never told anyone. But I always thought they were lighthouses. Act 1. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming. It's okay. I don't be bad at predicting deaths. Predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no. I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly nine to five jobs, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no. He prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Come, come. Come with me. Up the stairs. Grab the equipment, man. Grab the case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Alright, let's go upstairs. Yes, we will go upstairs. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. Ha <laughs> ha! And Tommy wins. Boom. You pushed me. Did not. Whatever. You get the born two notes anyway. So good. It's such a good game. Oh my god. I love the opening stuff. So good. Dun, 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 dun. Such a great game. Okay. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one that said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of the small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. Stop being such a whiner. You whiner. Honestly, no. Are you set up? Yes, yeah, so just be a moment. Written by Can Gao. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Oh crap. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So you can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just get, keep getting on crazier, huh? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I really don't know much. Johnny's an old man. Though the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his pa wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Shush, just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed for for you two. Hmm. So be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Dr. Watts! I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children could show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Wait, come back here for a moment. I have something for you. Tommy and Sarah can take you around the house if you need any assistance. They're probably downstairs at the piano. Wait, who needs to talk to me? Here. Oh, it's the doctor. 
That'll keep you updated on Johnny's uh, stuff. I hope there's no self-destruct button. I seem to have a knack for, the, knack for those. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Okay. We'll get a save going. Okay. There we go. Wow. Ah, oh, they're still playing the piano. What you want? Show me around. Hey, your mom told me to show you around the show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. Maybe. I think we just need a little convincing. That's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's talk. What do you punks want? We want one trillion dollars, or the candy cane candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that, or what? There's a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can't reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to, uh, to save for when we do chores. Get it for us, and we'll give you a tour through the house. What do you say? Well, sure. I'll go get it for you. You're lucky I don't want to walk upstairs again, or I'd just tell your mother. The kitchen door is right next to the stairs. Now go. Candy cane. I cannot reach it. Booyah! <laughs> High five! All right, kiddos. I was against a lot of odds back there, but I got the candy cane. It's probably a decade old. It tastes like rubber, but you can use it like a walking stick. Alright, where do we start? I know, I know, there's this funny room in the basement. I don't like that funny room. Er, what kind of funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys, though. The old man hid inside the book in his study. So that's in here. I believe it's over here. Read passage. Received room key. Nice. No, go back up. Go back up. Go back up. There we go. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Let's do it. This is the basement. We place hide and seek here. Uh, let's turn the light on. The door to the funny room is right there. The door is locked. Open the door with the room key. Let's go in. That's not creepy at all. A stuffed toy platypus. What a hideous little creature. So he liked to fold origami? Did you see it? What do you kids know about all the rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There's more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Want to go see it? I got the keys. Let me guess. You aren't supposed to go in there, either. Hee <laughs> hee. Remind me never to keep any locked cabinets around you two. So, you want to go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather windy outside, but... Oh, heck with it. I'm Dr. Watts. Mere wind can't stop me. 
Come on, let's go kick some butts. We're going outside. So let's go outside. It's here! Er... My novelty beach ball. I thought I lost it. Oh? It's stupid anyway. Oh, I'll never lose it again. I'm gonna hide it. Don't look. Okay. Done. Right. Now let's just head to the lighthouse. It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? That was Sir Dr. Rosaline. Yeah! Oh, Dr. Rosaline, tisk, tisk, tisk. Way to throw her under the bus, Dr. Watts. Way to go. Way to just throw her under the bus. Ooh, a squirrel! A squirrel! <laughs> ah, boy. It's battle time! Go, Pikachu! Don't worry, kids. I got this! She just like shrugs. It's like eh, whatever. This ends here. Hiya! Stop it! I will you will tell mom for animal abuse. Yeah, she called the cops on you. Oh come on! I wasn't actually gonna. Don't you like role playing? <laughs> Poor squirrel. Bye, friend. You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just go. My whole night is ruined. Poor Dr. Watts. I am so sorry, my friend. Oh, my word. Okay. To the lighthouse. Okay, let's go in. Wait, what's that over there? There's something over there. Oh, wait, over there. Over here? You talking about this? River Wiles, huh? Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse is right here. Yeah, you're right, there is more. This is it! A multicolored paper, ra paper rabbit. Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before he fell ill again. Two colors, huh? Am I the only one who's a little creeped out by these, though? Yeah, you are. Yep. What the? Someone's calling me. Ah, I should have guessed. Yeah, yeah, we're coming. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, let's head back. As for this... Okay. What the cactus were you doing? Burning ants with a magnifying glass? Using moonlight? Okay, I was taking a nap then. God, it's so hard to be a smartass nowadays. You're pretty good at being half of it. Your helmet is on the couch. Get it on, we're going in. Wait, where's my helmet? Over here. Initiate. Ready or not, here it goes. And we're going in. Into the Matrix. Just kidding. <laughs> totally joking.
This should be the last accessible memory. Disable speech for all for all except Johnny. Done. Let's get him. Anytime you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Okay. Johnny? What a pleasant surprise. We don't get many visitors around here. My name is Dr. Eva Rosaline, and this is Dr. Von Matterhorn. Dr. Lorenzo Von Matterhorn. Dr. Neil Watts. Are you familiar with the Sigmund Agency of Life Generation? Oh, are you two from the agency? How convenient. I've just been thinking of calling you. Lily, get us some tea, please. Lily? Actually, you've already called us. We're here to f fulfill our contract from, uh, from the relative future. Careful there. If you slip off the cliff, we're going to have to reload this memory. Watch it, Neil. Show some respect. Eh, it's just a program, you know. I know, but this is his last accessible memory, and we need to its, co its cooperation. Worst comes to worst, we can just reboot it. Why would you waste time like that? You... You're here to take me to the moon, aren't you? Yes, John. I suppose I had a good run. Not good enough, it seems. So, can you do it? Can you take me to the moon? We can't. But you might be able to. Why do you want to go there? I don't know. It's fine. You can tell us. It's essential for helping us get you, get you to go there. Do you want the fame? The money? You've got to have a motive. I'm sorry, but I really don't know. I just... do. I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. Nevertheless, Johnny, here's what we'll, we will do. We need to get your childhood, but this is too distant to do so in, in one memory hop. Thus, you'll need to tra traverse through your memories with gradual backwards leaps. Which you've given us the permission to do in the relative future. Once we lay down the waypoints in your childhood memories for a direct access, we will return here. That's when you'll need to help us influence the childhood you, be you to become an astronaut. Or get on a giant catapult. <laughs> the point is, you'll need to have more than just You'll have to have more to just say than just, I don't know. As long as you can take me to the moon, I will co cooperate in any way possible. Good. Now, in order to leap to memory, we need an item that is impo of importance to you. Do you have a m memento of some sort to get us started? That'll do. Well, shall we? Ladies first. Note, to the moon. We'll need to prepare this memento first. Okay. 
The memento can now be activated for traversal. Wait, what about my privacy? We'll try not to violate what we can what we can avoid. But in most cases, it can't be helped. Turn off visibility and interactivity. It'd be messy to be seen. Yeah, yeah. Happy? Jeez, I forgot to ask him about all these. Rabbits. This is creeping me out. We probably should have this checked his record for psych for psychopathy first. What the did he hear me? That's impossible. It's probably just a part of his memory. Then I stand by my point. Anyway, quit blabbering and find a memento here to hop from. Alright guys, well that's what I'm going to leave it today. Uh, this is a great game and I'm really excited to play more of it. Um, thanks for watching guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and also don't forget to subscribe. Peace out guys and remember as always... Stay awesome.